Welcome back. Buckle in, folks. We're exploring parents today, and it's time to play our favorite game show, Is It Abuse? I'm your host, Jack, and here's our first contestant. Oh my god, I feel so bad for this dude. Hi, mamas. What do you do when your beautiful baby boy, only 19, wants to start dating? I was his first love, and I just can't imagine another girl. It's hard. Mother. Mother, please. You were not his first love. You, you were, you are, it's for now, I suppose, until he wants to cut contact, his mother. What's even worse, though, is this guy's gonna grow up being considered a mama's boy. Like it's his fault his mother pushed an emotionally incestuous relationship upon him. My mom calls the cops because I didn't show up to my half-brother's birthday party. The reason I didn't respond is because she was texting me from a new number. The cops did show up, we explained the situation, but it was one hell of a night. The second text is from half-brother. Also, a great start to verify it's you when you send someone a new, different number. It's mom. Oh, well, there you have it, folks. It can't possibly be a scammer. Oh. Because they said they were mom. Yes, yes. Are you coming to half-brother's birthday? Hello? My god, it hasn't been a minute yet. You must be dead! I'm going to call the cops. I need to make sure you're okay. You are going to miss your half-brother's 16th birthday. I'm worried about you. Is dad answering? Obviously, it's me, your mother. Cops might come back. Please be honest. I'll show the text you sent me. We suddenly get a text from the half-brother. You promised to be here for my birthday. I guess my mom and your dad are going to court. You left the state without mom knowing. Ooh, wowee, that's some heavy lemongrass and ginger tea going on there. Just really dumping that shame onto OP here. Half-brother is clearly on their mother's side here, but oh, wait, watch this second message. That was mom. I know. That's right, mommy dearest here literally tried to pretend to be the half-brother to shame OP. In Incredible manipulation tactics. I truly love how the brother went out of their way to let them know that that was mom. My mother, ladies and gentlemen. So the pre-context here is that mother is mad that OP was sleeping instead of answering their phone. Okay, you're mad at me because I was sleeping? Lol. Dad has died. Call me now. No, no, go back to sleep. That is so messed up. I can't believe you would tell me that. <laughs> wow. Why? Because I can never count on you? I was sleeping. Oh, wow, yourself, OP. Frick you. I love you. No, frick you. I will never speak to you again. Word to the wise. Where the frick out? <laughs> you have 30 days to move your fat butt out. Good luck. 30 days from today. July 27th, 2024. Look, this is how you know I'm serious because I spent at least 10 minutes trying to figure out how to underline my messages. You poor ignorant soul. I hate that I've spent so much time, energy, and money wanting to believe you could be more than just a fleeting, worthless waste of space and air on planet Earth. I could not have been more wrong. Peace. Am I handling this properly? I feel like I am, but sometimes I'm wrong. The least you can do is owe me one for all the hateful texts you send. Hateful, sure. Well, you always tell me what a terrible mother I am. Oh no, oh no, not this kind of mother. Never said you were a terrible mother. Oh no, OP, you did. It was when you thought independently as an adult instead of just agreeing with whatever she says. Maybe you should reread your texts. Maybe you meant just a terrible person in general. I never said you were a terrible anything. Thing. I was saying that you don't take me seriously sometimes when I need you to take me seriously. See, you're projecting your insecurities onto things that I say after I bottle it up for a while because I know that's what you'll do. I don't hate you, nor did I say that I hated you, nor will I ever hate you. You're my mother. And I look up to you, as I always will. I just don't like that I can't go to you about important things out of fear that I'll be brushed aside, downplayed, or ignored like I usually am. So don't try to twist my words into what they are not. I love you. And I will never not love you. But that doesn't mean that I can't voice my thoughts or problems. Damn, that's pretty thorough. Oh, I'm reading your words for what they are. Look, sometimes I say things out of anger, and for that I apologize, but don't actually like you've never done the same. It's part of being a human being and knowing not to take things said in anger personally is also part of being a human being. Aren't you always telling me that I shouldn't read tone into text? This is no different. You can't tell me what my intentions are. My dad opens my mail without my permission. Yay! Do you want me to open this letter from the IRS for you? No, I'll open my own mail. It's probably for my tax return. Okay, so Opie said no. They'll do it themselves. They probably know what 
what it already is. Pretty simple question and response right there. It says you owe them $417. You opened my mail. You know that's a crime, right? Like, I know that's what I told you months ago that I owe them, but still. Oh, I just asked if you I could open it up and you said it's my tax return and I thought that meant yes. <laughs> It's like they just ignored that first message that came through. Now, but don't worry, father has a good defense for this. In a classic older parent's chess move, they blame the other person for their own actions. The question I asked you was a yes and no question. So next time, say no. Bruh, I literally texted you no. There it is. I literally screenshotted and cropped it for you. Don't bother trying to swipe up and see yourself. You're probably going to somehow accidentally download an app that's going to reveal all your credit card information. Okay, well, have your IRS stuff sent to you in your apartment and not to the house here. It's no big deal that I opened up a bill for $400. You need to not freak out about these things. I'm not freaking out? More importantly, you better set up a payment plan with them. It's so beautiful. Not uh, not once is there any moment in this conversation father apologizing for their actions here. Their simple mistake. My psychotic mother and grandmother. Even though you made me buy one when you came home, I sent it so you could get help. Yeah, and I appreciate that, Mama. Just call me Joe, okay? I don't want to be called Mum anymore, because I'm not. You are my mum, though? Got to have your kid in your life to be called Mum. Oh boy, it's time for some passive aggression. aggression. I am still technically in your life, but I'll do as you wish. Uh, wait, so does that mean I'm not your son? Well, you don't want to be a part of my life, but... You don't even want to see me even though you can from tomorrow. I've explained, uh, Joe, I physically can't. That is your choice. I'm putting 50 bucks on the line that this person literally has work tomorrow or has some physical injury where they cannot possibly drive their car around. So I'm no longer your son. I, I just want a yes or no. And mom just disappears. No response. Because this was never about actually whether or not you're her son. It was about making you feel bad. Guilty. Pulling whatever trick out of a hat she can to make you feel bad enough to come groveling for her forgiveness. Ah, but see, you didn't fall for the bait quick enough. So she's going to come back just to shame you further. Parental alienation. Research that. And it's your choice. But I ain't no part-time parent. You clearly don't want to see me. So that's up to you. What you do is your choice. Then for some reason she turns into a 12 year old who just had their first breakup. You're either in my life or you ain't. What you choose you will have to live with the choice you make for yourself. God, that's such a lazy and infuriating way to express your feelings about a situation you're in. My mother knows I'm a lesbian and not into men, but randomly sends me this stuff. I'm also not religious either. No, you are OP. You just don't know it yet. And thankfully, through the power of being like a spam email, Mother here will set you on the right path. I know you both don't know your future, but I read this and wanted to share. I do pray for the men you will meet and marry one day. I wanted to share this prayer with you. It is one that is being prayed over two men that you may or may not know yet. God knows, and I pray for these two men. Lord, draw my daughter's help mate onto yourself. Make sure to draw a six pack on him too and look like he's aged in a way where he is young but like he would be into older women. Just, just, you know, just <clears throat> uh, place people in his life that lead him to you. May he learn of your love through the gift of Jesus. May he seek your purpose of his life. May he discover your grace and forgiveness. May he grow into the man that you desire him to be. Which of course isn't influenced by my subjective uh, standards of how hot he should be. For me, I mean for my daughters. May he love you first, then me, and above all else, so that he can love my daughter as you desire. Protect him from the evils of this world. May he not succumb to addictions such as pornography or alcohol or money. Oh yes, I'm sure you'd prefer they're not into money. Yes, you'd rather they date some guy who owns a van and just travels around the country. Protect his eyes, ears, heart, and mind. If he does not save himself for marriage. What can I say? I like to sample the goods first. Lord, help him to walk in repentance and protect his body from disease. May he work through any emotional baggage that smexual activity outside of marriage may bring with it, Lord. Convict him, Lord, of the proper place the smex plays in a holy marriage. May he desire for you to lead 
him and my daughter and all this and all things. Lead him, Lord, to the career that you have designed him for. May he know the satisfaction of an honest day of hard work and find meaning and ministry in that responsibility. May he seek you in the goal of providing for his family one day. Direct his heart and mind in the way of fatherhood, Lord. Give him examples of fathers that reflect you, and if that was not his path, Lord, may he learn what not to do as a father. May he know you as Abba Father. Oh my god, she wants him to be into 70s Swedish pop music. Teach him the importance of surrendering his thought life to you, Lord. Show him that from his thoughts, beliefs are formed, which lay to his actions, words, and then become his character. Father God, I ask that you draw him unto yourself, that you give him wisdom and revelation that only you can give. May he have discernment in all things in his relationship with the Lord. May, all be for all things. may this union and his timing be done according to your will. Lee. In your sweet name, amen. Oh, come on, OP. You gotta... You gotta just double down on your own retort at this point. Well, Mum, thank you for such gracious words. Though I think God has different plans for me. This just makes me go lol. So what? I am your mother. Are you dreaming? You ignored last year and this year. In 2018, you ignored my birthday. This year, you didn't even call. Obviously, I am nothing to you. Just a horrible human being to you. I had called a few weeks ago and even offered you to help with the duden payment on a house. And then you would pay back slowly. Slowly, and you like shears dusted or ted me again and again. My maternal grandfather told me once, I am for those who love me. You despise me. So stay with the good ones to you. No, wait. So stay with the ones good to you. Yeah, nailed it. I offered the engagement party all the time thinking about you. What did I get? Disrespect. I am really embarrassed to see Blank's parents and Blank again. You have created a mud around me, but I won't receive it. I know who I am despite all the criticism and bad things you say about me. Jesus, the complete lack of self-reflection here. Surely at some point you gotta realize really think to yourself, if this person has consistently missed all these important things to me, that surely I have done something to trigger this response from them. Mum called me 27 times back in December. I was on a date, had my location on, Life360, and she knew who I was with. I had my volume off, and she knew that, and then yelled at me because she has intense anxiety and refuses to get help for it. Man, this is such a great example as to why we have so much effort nowadays to work on mental health for kids at a young age? Uh, like older adults? You're the reason why. That doesn't change anything. We make our son off rinses M&Ms before eating them. Artificial dyes, you know. Yes, that's where the unhealthy stuff is, not in the food. No. It's not the chocolate or sugar in general that's the issue with health. It's the artificial dyes. All because I slept in because I had football and gym yesterday night. Look, if you call your mother Mothra, I'm sure it's because different language, but it's still, it sounds like a boss in Elden Ring, and that's, that's scary. Uh, but don't worry, it's worse. It's not just phone calls, it's also texts. A beautiful display of this mother's competence with texting. Get you, eh? Hello? <laughs> Thanks a lot. Thank you. What is going on? I'm so mad at you! <laughs> <laughs> Going through old conversations with my mother, and now no contact. I found this insane one. My mum is asking me all the time. It's natural for a mum to ask her daughter who they're with. And just for the record, I'm moving to Albany. I'm not leaving the freaking state. Wow, they seem so well put together. I don't understand why you'd go no contact with your mother. Last night I found out Rocky has not long to live and not to travel yet until he does. He has cancer. I don't want to talk about it. Never, okay? It makes me break down and cry. Love you. Wait, wait, mom, you, you're the one who talked about it. What? <laughs> Until he does. Until he passes away. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, I could see the frustration that would have built in her as she was trying to type that without the typo getting in the way. So Sophia, you have never or are you thinking about a hooker's lifestyle? I don't care if I come across crazy. Right now what my head is telling me, Mom, in my dreams, I'm not going to ignore anymore. I'm not leaving the state now. Everything has taken a different turn. I'm only asking once! Again, so level-headed. Why did you go no contact, OP? You're crazy. Anyone know how to edit photos? I'm getting annoyed with my insane narcissistic ex foster mom continuously asking for photos of my clean place, but when I send them, she accuses me of sending old photos. So ex foster mom says, Those are old pictures, so try again. They are not old pictures. I've deleted all of the old pictures. I just took these when I woke up a little bit ago. June 15th pictures. I still have them in text. Well, if they're always being pushed to keep the place clean, obviously a lot of the th clean things are going to stay in one spot where it looks clean. Haven't spoken to her since Christmas. <laughs> Sorry, the subject line. 
Shippuden. Damn, I didn't realize Nagato from Naruto Shippuden had a child. Do you even care? What did I give birth to? My dad blocks me after I don't respond in the middle of a performance. I heard that you nailed it yesterday, son. What was you singing? Oh, it's sweet because you you know dad doesn't really care what they were singing. He just, he just wants to connect. Anyway, not getting a response about three hours later. Why do you always ignore me, OP? Further ignoring that their adult son likely has a life. You're at an age where if you wanted, you could see me. You obviously don't give a frick, son, and I ain't chasing you anymore. If you ever want to reach out, I'm always here for you, but dad ain't chasing shadows of a boy. He done nothing but right by. Sorry, kid. Love you. Dad, I was in the middle of a performance. Pink trainers on an eight-year-old equal liberal vibes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm gonna love this. My eight-year-old son's favorite color is pink. I know God made all colors and they're all beautiful and boys can wear pink, but unfortunately in this day and age, it tends to give off liberal vibes. I was thinking of putting some kind of cute boys can wear pink too, kind of vinyl or sublimination on his pink shirt. Any clever sayings or pictures or ideas for me? A picture of his pink shoes that he just had to have. It's always such a beautiful mindset these sort of people have. Kids can't understand smegduality. We shouldn't be shoving it down their throats with all this LGBTQ stuff plus, but then also, ah, my kid's being too liberal and feminine looking. Help me make him masculine. See, that would imply he understands if he looks masculine or not and is therefore trying to achieve that sort of look. Gross text my girlfriend's dad sent. Got any friends in the city that need a sugar daddy? Please keep this between us. <sighs> oh, mate, it's... Like, like he, he sure, surely he Googled first before resorting to this, you know? Surely. Um, if you feel like giving money away, I haven't seen a doctor or a dentist in a while. <laughs> Screenshot. Stepdad saw my brother on Tarkov. If you spent a third the time you do on your games operating any gun I've ever owned, you would be dealing with a well-trained shooter. Just saying that we have guns and they are real. <laughs> the actual killing is the real part. Experience it. See if you can even deal with it. I won't lie. My first deer, my first bird even, was a struggle to put my mind around. I tried eating the bird. It tastes like Schmidt, but my first deer tastes like a gift. Jesus, this was just from watching a video game? Let's go kill some stuff. I did it as a young kid. You're old, but we can still go do it. You kill it, we try to eat it, or make it taste good anyways. See, that's why we kill. To eat. War is only for the strong. And if you're not strong, don't worry about war. You already lost. If you can't feed your kids or family, you don't need to fight. You need to surrender. You can only beg for what you need. Dude, your stepdad is drunk. I'm, I'm so confident of it. She keeps emailing me after I blocked her. This is the third email I've had to block. Re. You are my heart. Oh, and mom sent a Spotify link. That'll repair any issues going on in this relationship. You don't love me. You love an idea of me that you made up in your head. That's not me. It never has been. You showed me that I made a mistake trusting you to respect me. I will not put my happiness to the side to let you hurt me again. You blew it. I know you'll never apologize honestly, so don't. And so OB blocks them. But unfortunately, this mother is actually somewhat tech savvy. And from this next bit, I'm assuming this is something to do with the fact that their daughter has grown up to not be a totally feminine trad wife thing that uh, mom wanted her to be. You were not naturally drawn to Thomas the Choo Choo Train. Your dad wanted to find something he could enjoy and play with you. He said he loved trains as a kid. I found Thomas and there the daddy-daughter playtime began. But I'm the one that bought all the silly Thomas clothes because you two were so happy. Trust me, you were a very girly girl all along. I will always love you, but the truth will come out. So okay, maybe their daughter's a lesbian? In which case, why? Why do you express this idea that, ah, you're not a lesbian, you just think you are? The truth will come out that sounds like you're threatening to drop some sort of truth bomb that she's a YouTuber who's, you know, a bit too close with the minors in their community. It's a bit like, well, okay, what's... This sounds way more serious than just someone's confusing smegduality. I don't even know why I try. Lol. Uh, do you want to do dinner or something? Uh, we can come over or go somewhere. I'm working all day until 8. Oh, okay. Um, are you working today? Hey. 
I'd like to see you at some point. Oh, this is great. The next bit is you're going to back off because you think she wants space or just, you know, she's just not being responsive. And then she's going to send a huge wall of text complaining about you never reaching out to her or being available. OB here wondering if this is a pass. The photo is referring to what I now know is my behavior with ADHD that my dad left unmedicated because he didn't believe in medication. How convenient. Recently, he has yelled at me four times for leaving pillows on the floor. My mom thinks he's bipolar, so I need thoughts. By the way, I'm under 16. No, over 16. I hate this symbol, okay? I can never tell. I keep forgetting which, which is the right way to interpret this. Yes, I know this is something I should have learned in fifth grade, but I've played the board game, okay? I'm not smarter. Anyway, starting out great with the dad here, sharing some song on Spotify. If that ain't a radiant red neon flag showcasing the dad's expectations, expectations of their son at all times. We need to talk about your behavior in science class. You cannot be disruptive or disrespectful. Not when we share the same last name. I do not want our name associated with any improper behavior. Please, son, you must act properly in school all day. I'm so sorry, but OP, your father is in the right here. Clearly, your father here is someone who is very successful and famous and rich and wealthy and has a legacy to pass on. Definitely not just some average middle-class income earner. No, no, he has a lineage, a legacy. And you best do better than to embarrass the family name, wet farts.